Hi, this is Miss Tech 5. My battery came in. It is an Anchor 1500 on the battery. Let's start off with a cheesy unboxing. You can see I don't do those, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that's asking exactly what it looks like. Look there, I opened the package, but we'll continue on. For those of you who are wanting to get the battery and keep a spare battery in your pocket, even though it's made with a grade of bulletproof plastic, be mindful of the last part where it says, do not short terminals, keep away from metal objects such as necklaces, chains, and coins, specifically coins in your pockets. Don't just pull it out and shove it in the phone. It has a shrink wrap. I took a pair of fingernail clippers and I trimmed the little seam edge and come right off. So yes, it does have a shrink wrap. And now the terminals will be exposed. Gonna zoom in here and let you see a size comparison. And here is another view. Thickness comparison. Comparison of the terminals. Alright, so here we go. We're putting the battery into the phone. It goes in. It sits nice. Battery back goes on. I'm going to be putting these batteries to the test and I'm going to be running as much stuff as I can throw at it. Any application that I use, I will post a link down below to where, where to find it. This particular application is Launcher 7 by Timo Kajala. And it looks very different. Just let you have a peek at what you can do here. Okay, so this widget that I currently have on here is Battery Time Light by Modelin. And it shows you a battery percentage. It also gives you a guesstimate about how much you can do for what battery life that you have. And be sure that when you put this in that you set your battery I'm going to settings and Motorola Triumph is not listed on here so you're going to have to choose other and the battery that's in here is 1380 and I already put that in when I switch to the other battery I'm going to have to put in that it's a 1500 battery so it's stating that I can get around 4 hours and 16 minutes of video playback well that would probably be just regular videos so the video that I'm going to be running is off of Netflix and I'm going to be using the Wi-Fi as well as the widget for Facebook in the background you know power hungry people on the batteries they want to know what it can do the other application that I am running here that will be in the background is Advanced Task Manager by InfoLife LLC and and I do still have that bar there, by the way, I have it hidden. And so I do use a task manager. I do have the Wi-Fi on. I do have the screen at its fullest brightness. Alright, so let's go ahead and start Netflix. And I'm just going to let this run. Of course I'm not going to record the whole time that I'm draining the battery. I will just leave the movie running and come back to it. At the end of the movie I will show you exactly what it's doing on the battery. Alright so after running Netflix I did a 50 minute documentary. I am a low service area so that it's uh, fluctuation in services eating up battery. I am still using a task killer. We're at 62% on the battery. Now this is not immediately after Netflix ended. This is about a half hour after Netflix ended. And you can see that we're at 62% and this is the OEM battery, the 1380 battery. If you are in a low service area and you've got, or a no service area, you've got that fluctuation in service and you just want to be on the Wi-Fi, you can shut the radio off or you can drop it to 1x and to do that you really don't need an app you can dial in star pound star pound 
four six three six pound star pound star go into phone info and you can take it down to CDMA only which is 1x um, be sure to go back into these settings you can dial that back in when you're done and put it to CDMA auto I'm going to continue using this battery I'm going to go play some games be back and show you what the percentage is on the 1380 battery. So we're at 42%. And I played uh, Angry Birds on it. I was going to play for 15 minutes, but I kind of got caught up in it, played it for about 25 minutes. And let's go ahead and take some per pictures. All right, we're back. The battery percentage has gone down to 37%. And the only thing I did in a short period of time was I took 10 pictures with flash screen on full brightness and I did two phone calls and a few texts so I've done a bunch of texting I've received some texts, I got 17 texts coming in only gone down 1% so let's go ahead and wrap this up I've used 65% of my battery okay I've put the 1500 battery and be sure when you put the 1500 in if you're going to use this widget to set it to 1500 like I have there already I have the brightness at the same and I'm doing the same thing here I've got the task killer going and Let's go ahead and start Netflix. Okay, so I'm running the same exact documentary that I did on the other battery. When it's done, we're going to see what percentage of the battery is at. I am done with the Netflix, the 50 minute documentary, and we're back here looking at the battery percentage. It's at 67%. Now with a 1380 battery, uh, step it back, that one when it was done with the Netflix was at 62%. We're going to run the same application that I did after. Let's go ahead and test Angry Birds. I'm going to play Angry Birds for the same amount of time. Again, the screen brightness is at the brightest. Back after playing Angry Birds for 25 minutes, just like the other battery, and our percentage is at 52%. Now, the other one was at, with the 1380 battery, was at 42% at this time on the battery. So let's go on to the next thing, where I'm going to take some pictures and make a few phone calls. Alright, back. I took uh, 10 pictures with flash and I also made a couple phone calls. My battery has gone down to 50%. On the, uh, at this point in time, on the 1380 battery, we were down to 37%. I've done some texting and I got a bunch of texts in and the uh, battery is at 49%. And at this point, with a 1380 battery, the other battery at this point of the test was at 35%. So what we're seeing now is the 1500 battery seems to give it just a little bit more. Are you going to get another half a day's worth in? No. So in conclusion, is the 1500 battery worth it to you? I've showed you the differences. You make the choice.